Ever wondered what it's like to compete in an amateur radio contest? Well, in the next seven minutes, a world of communication, camaraderie, and competition will unfold. This is the fascinating world of amateur radio contesting. Amateur radio, often dubbed ham radio, is a popular hobby where enthusiasts communicate with fellow hobbyists across the globe using a variety of frequencies. Contesting takes this hobby to the next level, transforming it into a competitive activity where participants try to establish contact with as many stations as possible within a specific period. Ham radio operators use a range of equipment, from handheld transceivers to powerful base stations with elaborate antennas. The ability to communicate over long distances, sometimes even reaching beyond the Earth's atmosphere, is a thrilling aspect of this hobby. One of the key skills in amateur radio is the ability to adapt to changing conditions, such as varying propagation patterns and interference from other signals. Operators must constantly adjust their equipment and techniques to maintain clear and reliable communication. So how does one participate in an amateur radio contest? It's a journey that begins with a simple step. Getting licensed. Yes, to legally operate a ham radio, one must hold an amateur radio license. This requires passing an examination, which covers basic regulations, operating practices, and electronics theory. Once licensed, the next step is to set up a station. This essentially involves acquiring a radio transceiver, an antenna, and potentially some additional equipment like a computer for logging contacts. Remember, it's not about having the most expensive setup, it's about making the most of what you have. Now comes the crucial part, understanding the rules of the contest. Each contest has its own set of rules, including the contest period, the exchange, information that must be shared with each contact, and how points are scored. Familiarize yourself with these rules before the contest begins to avoid any last-minute confusion. Preparation is key. Before the contest starts, ensure the equipment is functioning properly, the logging software is ready, and the operator is well rested. It's also a good idea to check the propagation conditions and plan frequencies and modes accordingly. Once the contest kicks off, it's all about strategy. It's important to constantly balance between searching for new stations and calling CQ, inviting other stations to contact you. Don't shy away from the challenge, and remember, every contact counts. When the contest ends, it's time to submit the log. Most contests require participants to submit their log, a record of all their contacts, within a certain period after the contest ends. This is usually done electronically and it's crucial to follow the submission guidelines to ensure the log is accepted. Finally, after all the hard work, it's time to wait for the results. While winning is thrilling, remember that the real victory lies in the experience gained, the skills honed, and the friends made. To recap, participating in an amateur radio contest involves getting licensed, setting up a station, understanding the contest rules, preparing for the contest, strategizing during the contest, submitting the log, and awaiting the results. It's a journey filled with learning, excitement, and camaraderie. So, whether you're a seasoned ham or a curious newbie, amateur radio contesting offers a unique blend of competition and communication that's sure to captivate. It's a world where every contact is a new adventure, and every contest is a chance to push your limits. This is the thrilling world of amateur radio contesting.